say it, watching his father with that big sword, it made him feel somewhat proud. The confidence it gave him made him fight like a rabid animal, and like animals, together they searched for more prey. Why the hell do these guys have such good ass armor? What the these Swamper Gate Guards had some fucked up gear on them. Dear Diary. <laughs> Jackpot. <laughs> they look fucking awesome with my outfit here. Lock. Get lost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And Mewtwo weapons, the most I've ever held. And I still got a few more to collect. Now, this is epic. Dude, I'm, I think with the uh, Shek, what I'm gonna do to defeat them, is I'm gonna crawl in with Lean Bean and then kill Seto. And then that's gonna trigger that fucked up raid where they send all the five invincibles and S to the stone golem at you. But what they don't know is, as I sprint out of Admung like a bat out of hell, I'm gonna have a base built. 
and me and Esfer are gonna be on two fucking revolving barrel harpoon turrets. So when they show up, they're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna hopefully shoot them to death. Problem is, these fucking idiots don't know how to use turrets. I think, uh, Esfer, since he's a hiver, he does get a bonus to turrets. He has a key, but he is currently at negative three. Ooh, a crack. Damn! Damn, they're in all those AI cores. Uh, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna set up shop in the fucking uh, Leviathan Coast. Set up some of those turrets and, uh, you know... Go! Go to town! <laughs> So off I headed to level up Lean Bean and Esfer's turret skills to begin the plan to destroy the shack. A difficult task to say the least. But on my way to the Leviathan coast I started thinking about that cannibal village from the beginning. Kind of close to the coast actually. You remember the one right? Back when I was just barely scraping by. How nice they were to old Lean Bean back then. I remember, and I thought to myself, how nice would it be to pay our old friends a little visit and reminisce on old times. And to say they were happy to see me is an understatement. They welcomed me into their village like family. They let me into their homes, showed me around their little huts. A beautiful and intelligent people the cannibals are. Never have I seen a more sophisticated and kind group anywhere. And we ended the day by chilling by the human cooking fire pit in the center of the village. Man, it was a nice break from all the bloodshed and weapon hunting, if I'm being quite honest. Turret training day. Shooting platform. Is a great success. There are so many Leviathans here. It's now if I can get just a good barrage from two turrets on the stone golem, she'll die. Fucking tech hunter, coming up here to start doo doo. Fortnite Battle Pass. I just shut out my ass, put it up to PC, cause I need me to get that Fortnite Battle Pass. Gonna watch a man kissing. Gay men kissing. That's what I wanna watch. If you see this boy kisser, shoot on sight. This boy can kiss so many men. He can kiss a man, alright. This bad boy can kiss so many men. After familiarizing themselves with the turrets, part of the plan had fallen into place. For now, another village lie in the way for them to strip for supplies. Hey yo, what the fuck? Wait, what the hell was that? Okay, that was kind of funny, but let me finish the narration, alright? <clears throat> they went house to house in the night, taking whatever they needed. Cutting apart anyone- Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Hey, yo, what no. the fuck? Don't you do it. I just gotta finish this. I'm almost done. No. Turn off the weird chants. Turn those off. Did you slow down the footage? Yeah, yeah, they're just gonna cut them up. Here, let me finish this narration and fuck off for a second. The chants are not funny. The chants aren't funny. You're the only one that thinks that. Let me wrap this up. I have a lot of shit to edit still. Did you turn that up? Did you turn the chance up? Look, I have to go to work later. You know what? You know what? Let the rest play. Let the rest play. Might as well. 
Thank you, Logan. You enjoy your stupid little segment. While I was still in town, I decided to pay a little visit to my very first base. The one I made in the very first episode, and surprise, surprise, it was just like I left it. So, I cleaned it up a little, and decided to spend the night in it as well.
After Lean Bean woke up, Esfer spun tales of a strong Shek, a commander of an army of banded slavers, the perfect target to receive their merciless might. To Esfer's surprise, his tall mentor was very receptive to the idea. It was a strange feeling having his input recognize his advice. Just like that, they were on their way to do something he had suggested. He felt honored to have his mentor take a suggestion let alone immediately act upon it. They made their way towards the Forbidden Zone to the southeast, a truly desolate place where few dare venture, a place of skinless corpses, metal-masked maniacs, crab-obsessed war seekers, and of course, the bandit slaver warlord, Balaman. Brotherhood fights for freedom. Either you fight with us, or you fight against us. Make a fine weaver, but like all you weavers, you'll sleep as a whelp in a cage. Open your eyes. Look at me. I am your new king. I am the one who will transform you into a warrior from a coward from a coward who turns their back on the starting, who allows the noble snakes to lord over the lands, and does nothing, who turns a blind eye to all atrocities in the name of survival. But now, this is your chance to change, to be a hero and shed your shameful past. Now is your chance to prove yourself, but not alone, as part of a brotherhood, as part of a revolution. Welcome, my brother, to your new home.
Nice armor. Too bad you guys don't have the attack to back it up. Um, excuse me. I am here to fucking kill you. As soon as my apprentice gets here and all that, I should have put him on jog while we're fighting. What's up, fuckers? About damn time you got here. I was getting my cheeks beat. This guy took forever to. My apprentice got forever, took forever to get here. These guys are pretty tough. These are model. Are upgraded guard, so they kind of fuck. Don't let your kids watch it. it. Should have stayed down. You wouldn't have lost your leg. Wait, not supposed. Main Bean hates to be touched. Every time the other one goes to heal him, he freaks out. Every time, it doesn't seem to bother him that he's getting healed. Just that they're, they're touching him. Wait, there we go. Some skeleton repair beds. Get these limbs topped off. Oh no, you don't! <laughs> There's a fucking generator just chilling out here in the fucking bushes. What in the fuck? Oh yeah, you guys are what I would like to call chop the fuck up. Oh, it's a leader right there. All right, I'm gonna attack the leader. Goodbye to your shitty little faction. The only faction that is allowed to exist are fogmen and cannibals. Cause that's the only thing that'll be left after I'm done killing everyone. I am one million years old. Give me that AI core, boy. I can't believe this guy has an AI core. <laughs> Tear out his heart. What kind? Fuck out of you. It was an all familiar scene by now. The two triumphing over a pile of mangled corpses. But this time, with a brief rest. And during so, Esfer noticed his mentor had found something very uncanny. A mask. Like the brainwashed madmen wore. It had a strange aura to it. He watched his master gently bend it to fit his face and made it his own. Behind the mask, his most terrifying feature was hidden. Those cold, dark eyes. Ones that showed his sword where to plunge and his hands where to gouge and claw. Maybe some advantage? To keep the blood and sand out of the eyes? To hide humanity shown to his apprentice, it is unknown why he took up that mask. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I don't know if you noticed back there, but uh, since Lean Bean and Esfer are hivers, well, half hivers because of the cybernetics, but the skin bandits don't want any beef with me. I mean, they, walk, they walked right past me, like I was part of the scenery. So why did I chop them up? Well, I had an amazing idea. If I play dress up with their little suits, maybe I can stroll right up to their leader while the rest are none the wiser. So, the boys got ready for prom night, and they went to go look for a date. Hey, 
I have infiltrated the skin bandits. And I'm walking up to their leader as we speak to chop him apart and put him in the peeler. And that Nodachi will be mine. How exotic. A drifter from out of the pits. Kraven. The sword, taken from Savant, the skin lord had been a match made of destiny for Lean Bean. The sword, like its owner, was tall and sharp, ready to take life in an instant, with length enough to reach the heavens and strike down the very angels should its master wish it. Whatever should face the end of that sword had better have nerves of steel and Akron at their back, should they have a hope to survive it. Before them, another village and another weapon to find. Just heal up in your bed before I kill you. Back home at last, with many very heavy, one-of-a-kind weapons, as Esfer became seasoned with battle, he too began to appreciate them. Sharp and finely weighted were they, each a work of art in its own respect, 
from an otherworldly time, each a small piece of history, all unspoken and all unrecorded. Save for the fleeting memories of the past wielders, if there was anything Lean Bean wanted other than the thrill of a perilous fight, it was to collect these masterworks and claim such timeless and brief history itself for his own. The duo rested, sore and tired, but soon grew restless for battle. Such a change of pace is difficult to embrace. Such fighting comes with many lasting effects. Peace is hard to accept when the weight and thrill of a fight is so powerful. As for now began to understand his master's restlessness for combat. It's addicting for a seasoned body. Feels good to win, and it occupies the mind like a lover's embrace. Not long after they arrived, they planned to seek another target. The Bugmaster. To the far east. Where the people of the Shek lie fractured and dormant, raging quietly for battle. They too are restless for a fight. One they would soon see spiraling to the death.